your host and we'll be taking you through a beautiful service today. And I hope the festivities were so well and so nice for you guys. And I hope the um, New Year is treating you well also. Uh, and how are your New Year's resolutions coming along? Um, make sure to let us know in the comments. I'm so pumped for today's service. I know we're going to learn so much. I am too. And before we get right into it, go ahead and like, subscribe to our channel, and share the video with the gang. Yes, please. While you're watching, leave a comment and let us know what sticks out to you. We love to hear from you. So make sure to interact with us in the chat box as you go through the service. Now, Omar, tell us how we can prepare to watch service today. Well, the first step right there is to get rid of all distraction. Get out of your bed because I know you're on there. <laughs> get, get dressed. Put your phone on silent if you can. Second is to begin prayerfully prepared with your expectations in mind. And I will lead us in our in a word of prayer. Oh Lord God, thank you, oh Lord, for everyone watching this Oasis online, that all the expectations will be met as we are going into this today's topic. Every answers, every expectations will be answered and met in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God, because we are we are getting blessed in today's service, and everything we want, everything we are looking for is done in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Glory to God. Hallelujah. Let's get right into the Rhapsody segment. Stay tuned and we'll see you shortly. Hello everybody, my name is Ulua Tony and I'll be taking us through Rhapsody reading today. The topic for today's Rhapsody says, see by the word and speak accordingly. Now our opening scripture is taken from 2 Corinthians 4 verse 8. Verse 18 says, While we look not at the things which are seen, but the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. It goes on to say, We are not supposed to be victims in the earth, but victims. But many Christians live as victims, as captives of adverse circumstances, because they neither see nor live but the world. The adversities, pressures, and difficulties of life aren't a factor. Paul in the preceding verse of our opening uh, scripture calls them light affliction, which is but for a moment. In other words, to you, that problem or adverse circumstance may have been for 10 years, but is subject to change and guaranteed to work for you a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. Ow. The answer is what we read in the opening verse. Stop looking at your present physical condition. See the invisible. See, you know, as Christians, we're called to walk by faith and not by sight. Right? So let's go back into the rhapsody. When you see the invincible, the wilderness experience will end. See God doing great things in your life and through your life this year. See yourself prosperous, healthy, vibrant, and strong. See yourself walking in victory and in the glory of God. See the picture, accept it, and act accordingly. Consider the story of Abraham in Genesis 17. He took his gaze off what his physical senses dictated to him and looked at the invincible through the eyes of the Spirit. He saw himself as the father of men, just as God had said. The Apostle Paul in Romans 4.17 explains to us that Abraham believed what God has said concerning him, as it is written, I have made thee a father of nations. Before him, whom he believed, even God who quickened the dead, right, and called those and called those things which be not as though they were. This is the beginning of a new year. Something you must do consciously and consistently every day is to boldly declare who you really are. Don't speak failure. Don't speak defeat. Have the right vision. See from God's perspective. Meditate on and declare His words. When you affirm what God has said about you, your soul will adjust to act that way. Whatever God has said about you, 
and does it. Believe it and affirm it to yourself consistently. Hebrews 13, verse 5 to 6. Consciously program your life with the word of God. Wow. That is, this article is interesting. It's, it's like a, a renewing of your mind with the word of God. And as this, it's, it's a new year, right? Everyone has a bunch of goals they've written down, a bunch of things they want to do, a bunch of things they want to, basically a new person by the end of the year or a different person, right? The way to start that is by going into the word of God. What does it say about you? Who are you in Christ, right? Increase your knowledge in that and watch how everything falls in place. Now, let's take the confession and I would like for you to say it with me, right? I see myself making progress with joy and stride. My part is that of the just that shines brighter and brighter onto the perfect day. My focus is on the Lord and his word. His wisdom guides and rules my life. I see and walk in victory, health, prosperity, and joy. Now and always, in Jesus' name, amen. Now, don't forget to check out the further study. That's from 2 Corinthians 5, verse 7, Hebrews 12, verse 2, and 2 Corinthians 4, verse 13. Now, make sure you get your, get your hands on a physical copy. And if you can't, uh, let us know in the comment section and we can you know, arrange for a digital copy as well. Make sure to tune into Rhapsody Club, Monday to Saturday, 8 a.m. or 6 p.m. is the time. It's about 30 minutes where we dive deeper into what the article is of that day and uh, enjoy the rest of service. Now we will go into a time of prayer. And we'll be praying for ourselves using the scripture from the book of 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 12. And it says, Fight the good fight for the true faith. Hold tightly to the eternal life to which God has called you, which you have declared so well before many witnesses. Now we'll be praying that you walk in God's strength and in the power of his might. Declare that you continue to fight the good fight of faith to, ex to stay established confirmed and set on God's word. With the word in your mouth, you prevail over every circumstance today and always. You know, as we pray, pray, we are going to be praying in the tongues of the Spirit. And if you cannot pray in tongues, pray in your own understanding. Let's pray. Oh, we work in God's strength. We stay established in the word. Our faith prevails. We prevail every circumstances in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, establishing your word in Jesus' name. Oh, we continue to fight the good fight. Oh, Lika Zunta Rebusunta. We continue to prevail. We continue to excel. Mande de Kisinti Libasunta Libasanta. Mande de Kisinti Libarabasanta. Lika Mana Lakasunta. Because our strength is from the Lord. Mande Kusunta Libasanta. We are exceeding in all expectations. Malika Zanta Labaha. Oh, Lika Shanta Libusunta. We are studying the wisdom, the word, the word of God. Mashanta <laughs> 
Jesus, we do not get weary in the name of Jesus. The word of the Lord is always on our lips in the name of Jesus. And we prevail over all circumstances. And we continue to fight the good fight of faith. Strongly in the name of Jesus, we praise you, O God. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 We are going to move into a wonderful time of praise. Um, Stay tuned. Make sure you're worshiping God with all your might, with your spirits, as you offer praises unto the Lord.
our offering and our tithe. Also remember that your offering is, a, is an act of worship, an act of honor and thanksgiving. It's a testimony of faith in the living God. Absolutely. So give for joy in your heart knowing that you're giving thanks to the Lord Jesus. The information will be displayed on the screen for you. So use that to give your offerings and your tithes. Hello everyone. My name is Pastor G and on set with me is Pastor Debbie. We're so delighted to um, lead you guys in this amazing panel discussion. We're actually going to be reviewing and getting deeper into the amazing message of the year. Um, you know, um, every time that we begin a new year, there is a prophetic word from God's spirit concerning, you know, the year. And that word is actually what drives us. That word is actually what you know, makes things happen for us. And so if that's the case and understanding and, you know, getting into a little bit of our cogitations from yeah. what that message is at this time is very important so that yeah. we make the most of it. You know, actually quite interestingly, um, I'm doing the one year Bible reading plan. You know, you can find that at the bottom uh, of every Rhapsody, Rhapsody article. article. Yeah. And I was reading about, um, the story of Jesus being born and mm -hmm. specifically that place where in Matthew in Matthew yes when um, um, Herod was trying to kill um, Jesus, Jesus and stuff like that and you would see that it always say that as um, as it was prophesied as mm. it were prophesied this happened so that it could fulfill prophecy mm -hmm. and I thought to myself that Ooh, Jesus went to Egypt so that it would be yeah, fulfilled, fulfilled. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so yeah. everything was prophesied but if you also pay careful attention you will notice that those prophecies being fulfilled required action yeah so he had to step into the script yes yeah do you get oh my goodness it reminds me of a I don't know what message it was that I was listening to but mm -hmm. pastor had was telling a story about a time that he received a vision. Mm. In the vision, he was wearing a particular shirt that he didn't have, mm. he didn't own, and he was ministering to a lady. And um, he he laid hands on her, and then she responded, and she was healed. He woke up, he was like, hmm. Well, not woke up, but he came to himself, and he was like, hmm, interesting. Now, the next day, someone gi gifted him a package, and in the package was the exact shirt mm. that he knew what he had to do. He had been giving a prophecy, right, in, mm -hmm. in, in terms of a vision. Prophecy can come in many different ways. Right. It can be in scripture, you know, a man of God can let you know, like your friend can even let you know, like, you know, this is what's going to happen, this is what I've seen. So, exactly as he saw in the vision, he acted out the script. Now, he said, I couldn't control what the woman would do, but I knew what I must do. Yes. And the woman, exactly as he saw in his vision, she was healed exactly that same way. Exactly. Exactly. So it's like a play, it's like a script. You, you just have, have to put role. yourself yeah, yes. in there. And so I just thought how powerful that is because um, that lets us understand that even with, you know, Jesus um, 
when Herod was trying to, you know, kill him. If yeah. Joseph didn't listen to what the angel did, said, mm. right, that mm. prophecy would have not been fulfilled. Things yeah. he was prophesied to do, even when he grew up and stuff like that, there was an action to mm-hmm. take. So mm-hmm. why we're getting into this is because um, a word has gone forth, but yes. it's not going to happen with you seated, yes. right? There are things you have to do and there are positions you have to put yourself in to make mm-hmm. the most of it. And yeah, so... Um, do you want to talk to us a little bit about what the message, the prophetic word of the message was yeah. and some of the things that it entails? You know, thank you, Pastor Gradu. Like, I really find it very unique, the, the word for this year, because Pastor used the dictionary. Right. Get, <laughs> he used true. the dictionary to just let us know the different steps. So we are in the year of... Can we have fireworks at this point? <laughs> redemption! There you go, redemption! 2024! Yeah, amazing. And literally called it the three definitions mm-hmm. from the, the dictionary to let us know what we would have this year, what we would see, and like you mentioned, what we must do. Mm-hmm. So just to give you a brief overview before we share what we got personally from this um, message, the first one is to deliver from sin through a sacrifice. And Pastor talked about how we are the justified. Mm-hmm. But then on another end, we are letting people know, people in the world know that they have been redeemed mm-hmm. legally. But all they have to do to accept that vitally and walk in that reality of who they are now in Christ, they just have to receive salvation. Mm -hmm. So it's a call on us to preach the gospel, essentially. And Pastor had to also explain that we are the fruits of redemption, Mm -hmm. not the redeemed. That's very important. Oh my goodness. In our ministry, anytime it's the word of the year, if if the word of the year is proliferation, people are going to start changing their names to prolific John, (laughs) prolific Sarah. Even the happy, prolific, happy redeemed birthday. (laughs) Yes, exactly. So I think that was why he was extra careful to let us know that we are not the ones who are the redeemed, but we are the ones redeeming. Mm-hmm. We're redeeming things for ourselves and also redeeming people. Mm-hmm. Even in a, in a meeting, um, somebody had mentioned very profound um, like understanding of this, how also when we go and we minister the gospel, when we go and we interact with people, even though they're Christians or not, the words on our lips, God talking is mm-hmm. also able, it has the capacity to release them mm-hmm. from whatever bondage they might be mm-hmm. in, emotional, mental, physical, also spiritual, like that's yes. the salvation part too. Mm-hmm. So there's a lot of dimensions to that first point. The second one that Pastor Chris had mentioned is, this is my favorite one, it's yeah. very visual, to turn in vouchers or coupons for mm-hmm. value. That is, you take those things that you have and present them for value. I mean, mm. we, we have a lot of explanations of this in uh, today's world. Um, Sam's Club, mm-hmm. Target, Walmart. What's interesting, though, is you cannot take Walmart's voucher or coupon to a Target. Mm. And you cannot take uh, Target's coupon or voucher to mm. Sam's Club. It's as it relates to the company, right? So essentially, the second point in this is uh, that our reality in Christ, the scriptures that tell us about who we are, the verses that tell us about his death, that's Jesus Christ's death, resurrection and ascension, our priesthood, his mm. priesthood, these are our vouchers and coupons. Mm. So we need to, like you said, it's like taking action. The word has said this about you, but it's not going to happen magically. Mm. You have to do something. You have to go and cash it out. The same way you can literally have a coupon that says 100% off ten thousand dollars it could mm-hmm. be sitting in your house mm-hmm. guess what until you walk into the store and say here this is what i want here's the coupon for this mm-hmm. it's useless at that point right and the last one is to release from debt or bondage mm-hmm. so the nations that are in bondage mm-hmm. financial bondage spiritual bondage whatever kind of bondage people who are in bondage um people who are unsaved people who are you know, mentally inept because of something or people who don't, like there's so many dimensions to this. This is the year that they will be free. And there was a lot of, yeah. sue everybody, <laughs> take us to court, <laughs> take us to court, whatever they're doing that's illegal. Mm-hmm. This is the year that we have the grace to win and excel. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So that's basically the overview. I, I We're going to actually link the message as well. We have a service or we will have a service that we mm-hmm. you know we go into depth about this. So this is just an overview, just to you know help guide our conversation so you understand what we're talking mm-hmm. about. But yeah. So Pastor G, what are some standouts? What are some things that, you know, really hit your heart like from the word praise of god the, of the year praise god i think you know um firstly i want to i want to talk about how um expectant i was to receive this word because 
you know, that's the word for now. Mm. You know, um, all of God's word is powerful and important, but we've been taught that the man of God has created that Rema yes. is God's word for now, for now relevance yes. for now. And so I was so experienced. And when the man of God started sharing with us and he said something that stood out to me was a statement he made to encapsulate everything. He hmm. said that, you know, the things which you have lost, mm. he said in this year, you, you will recover. recover all. Yes. You recover. And it's so powerful to me because looking at the end of the year, some of the things that we were sharing, um, I remember one of the episodes as well was about Thanksgiving. One of the mm -hmm. Oasis Online episodes mm -hmm. was about Thanksgiving. In case maybe you didn't have the year you yeah, wanted. Desired, yeah. Because there's a lot of people who um, um, have... 2023 was not the year you wanted. You mm -hmm. lost a couple of things. Mm -hmm. You had experiences that were not the best, yeah. things of that nature. And so for that word of the spirit to come and say that, you know what, this is the year where you will recover all. And like we said earlier, you know, words of prophecy like that, they don't happen because they were just said. Mm -hmm. You have to take that word. And I linked it to... The second point about, you know, cashing in your vouchers, vouchers because, ones, yeah. you know, these are words of prophecy as inspired by God. So we are in a season mm -hmm. and a year where the things that you lost, mm -hmm. you can go to the store mm -hmm. and buy them back mm -hmm. with a discount for free. Mm -hmm. So whereas, you know, maybe in a normal world, you had maybe the words that you had and the grace that you had could have gotten you one car. Mm -hmm. Now, let's say you got into an accident or a car was totaled or whatnot. We have that seven times mm -hmm. ability, right? So we have that voucher. So we have the coupon. So all you have to do is go before the throne of God. Go before God and say, I insist. Mm -hmm. And you get times seven. That's oh, the season where yeah. <laughs> It's so powerful. It's God. You know, the spirit of God was even, you know, um, enforcing that in my spirit, saying that in this year, two things that I need to do more than ever before is meditation on the scriptures mm. and affirmations mm -hmm. because what meditation does for you is you know because he said when he was talking about the points about cashing your vouchers mm -hmm. he said you know those scriptures that talk about you know our rights in christ and the different things that the lord has given us he said those are the scriptures we must make demands mm -hmm. of but you know to make an effective demand it has to overwhelm your consciousness mm. that those things belong to you yeah you're right do you get what i'm saying yes. because when a king says bring me this there is no doubt, shadow of a doubt in mm. his heart because he knows that he's his. Do you understand yeah. what I'm saying? So meditation is something that I'm going to do more than ever before this year because mm. it has to overwhelm my mind mm. to a place where by the time I'm making a demand, it's not from a place of need. Mm. It's oh, Do you get what I'm saying? It's not from a place of need. Yeah. It's mine. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Hey, it's, you know when you tell someone, can you please pass me my phone right there? It's as autopilot as mm. like, you know you kept being it, okay, well, let me use something more appealing. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you kept, you know, maybe Chinese rice in the fridge. Mm -hmm. It's very, just wake up, you know, start walking to the fridge, open it, collect it, and start eating. Like, mm -hmm. it's not like anything you have to be like, like no, oh I deserve God, it. Yeah. No, 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 it's like so, it's mine. Mm -hmm. I own it. I love that. Yeah. <laughs> and then, so that's for meditation. Just mm -hmm. allowing these things that belong to you overwhelm your mm. consciousness so much so that you know this is mine you yeah. know just like oh, that's my phone just pass it to me mm -hmm. i'm not begging you for my phone. Mm -hmm. it's mine mm -hmm. do you see mm -hmm. and the second thing is affirmations you have to more than ever before speak yeah. speak make those claims the way you cash it in is with the words yeah. you're speaking god's word but yeah for now that's some of the things that is going through my mind Wait, so you know something i'm thinking about right now mm -hmm. Even beyond affirmations, mm -hmm. or not, let me not say beyond, I think what you should substantiate is mm -hmm. all the prophecies that have been spoken over you, mm -hmm. spoken over your work, your mm -hmm. family, that you have not yet seen the manifestation mm -hmm. of in the realm of the spirit. This is the year. Cash it in. This is the year to cash it in because it's time, sales, right. everything must go. Everything, mm. we're prepared. We're literally preparing to rapture. What are we going to do? Like With those prophecies? Well, yeah, yeah, we're not going to use it in heaven. We're not going to use it in the yes. New Jerusalem. Wow. It is now. Wow. The time wow. is now. And it's a free for all. I'm mm -hmm. still inspired. Glory to God. So, no, back <laughs> to you. What, what have I learned? Uh, okay, let me see. I have to, let, me, let me look at my notes and see which one I would like to share on. Because the meetings that we've had subsequently amongst mm -hmm. the leaders here in Oasis have also even shed more lights. At the end of last year, yeah. 
okay, we're not in 2023 anymore. Let me be specific. <laughs> 2022, you know, we partner with the gospel financially here in Oasis. If, mm. you, if you want to know what that means, just drop a comment and be like, what's partnership? And we'll be we'll sure to know. let you, exactly, we'll let you know. And in the year 2022, it was the year after I had been the number one top partner. Right. Which was, and it was so easy for me. It was like, like, woof, just like, I, th- I said, I was, I think I was sitting in my room when I said the figure that I wanted to do. I texted my pastor, Pastor Deji. You've probably seen him many times on Oasis Online. I texted him. He was like, yeah, do it. And I literally did it. it mm. There was no struggle or anything. So I left the end of 2021. I went to 2022 and it was a struggle. Mm. First of all, I was not surprised because things like that are normal. When you pass a level in the realm of the spirits, you're now operating in a new mm dimension in a new class like the difficulty level has increased and the um the antagonism is also much stronger right but it was so hard i was struggling and i remember at the end of the year not making my goals not not even my when i say not meeting my goals i mean i didn't even sniff it it's it's, it's one thing it's one thing to be like i didn't quite meet it i did not sniff (laughs) half of it i was so like, I was inspired. I said, in the year 2023, I will make sure that I do my best. It was also difficult last year. It was mm. a lot more difficult than I wanted it to be. But I pulled through. I remember sewing my rent twice. Wow. I, 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 my hand was on my own neck. I said, we're not, this is not going to become a pattern. Because that's how people mm-hmm. fall into um, a place and they're wondering, how did I get here? Mm. Absolutely not. If you find something that is not in your aeon, and again, that comes from that, like, you know, the, the revelation and the consciousness of this is not who I am. Mm. You need to know who you are. If you don't know who you are, then anything is permissible. I know that I am a daughter of consolation and mm. I know that I am beyond wealthy. So it mm. cannot be hard. So I fought tooth and nail. Mm. I think I could have still fought more, but you know, anyways, <laughs> I, I fought tooth and nail and I made it back close into where I wanted to be. But the word that the spirit of the Lord gave me, like December 12th, no, December 10th, when mm. we had our gala was, is the year of restoration. That's the first wow. thing. And what the man... When our pastor, Pastor Deji, had said when I went up to, you know, shake his hand, which is a spiritual uh, ex- transaction, exchange, exactly. Mm-hmm. He said this year, he said a lot of things, but he said this year there'll be ease. Mm-hmm. This, do you see the words of prophecy? Like wow, everything was wow. aligning. So when the man of God declared, man of God, Pastor Chris declared this year, the year of redemption, and then we're going into details, I was about to, I was wow. like, yo. So the I remember that, seeing you scream. Yes. So the <laughs> that I didn't do in 2022 that I wanted to do, the things that I didn't do in 2023 that I wanted to do wow. times seven. Oh, oh watch out for me, praise God. That's one of my personal gadgetations. Mm. But then also in a meeting that we had after um, the receiving the word from the year, the esteemed, pa- the esteemed group pastor, Pastor Iris, congratulations, <laughs> Mike. Anyways, um, the esteemed group pastor, Pastor Iris, had given us an analogy. And I thought that that was just so profound. Mm. I wish that it was very close um, with what uh, Pastor, Pastor Didi also said. So she was describing how in the sales world, uh, that maybe during the holidays, during you know Black Friday or whatever, like they usually have a sales, mm. and in the sales they're telling you that this is marked, you know, fifty percent off, sixty percent off, and what they're trying to do is sell quickly so they meet their quota because they're entering into a new season. Mm. Everything needs to go because they're entering into a new season. Mm. So how does this translate? We're literally preparing for the return of Jesus Christ. The ch- the next big thing that's happening in this world is the rapture of the church. Mm. What is the rapture of the church, you might ask? Literally, um, how do I explain this? Just imagine a, a bunch of people just zapping out. Well, you're not even going to see that because the Bible declares that it's going to be in a twinkling of an eye. Mm. In a twinkling of an eye, all of us, the saints of God, will join the Lord in the sky and for seven years we'll remain in heaven when there's going to be a tribulation here on earth. So for three and a half years, it's going to be peace. Mm-hmm. And then the other three and a half years is going to be war. And then after that, the Amargadon. I don't want to, you know, give too, like, I don't want to, that's not really the point. But basically, we are preparing for the end of a season. We are approaching the end of a season. Mm. So there's a sales in the realm of the spirit. Mm. Everyone mm. must go. Why? Because it is not God's will that any man should perish. He has died for everyone. He has redeemed everyone legally. Mm. Everyone has been paid for. Everyone has been bought with his blood. When mm. he died on the cross, he died for all. So he does not want anyone to perish or go to hell. Hell was not made for man. Hell was made for Satan. Mm. 
So now us as representatives in the kingdom, as children of God, this is the year where we go out and we say, huh, and then 10 people follow us. We've not even yeah. praise God. We've not even like said, uh, touch and follow, wow. touch and follow, wow. because there's, there's such a grace in the atmosphere. Hmm. And I found it because even, so I and Elizabeth, somebody, another member in Oasis, we've been doing street evangelism mm -hmm. now. People might think like, oh, because, you know, you are a relatively mature Christian. You're not like a baby baby. Like, evangelism should come easy to you. Mm -hmm. We all get nervous. Let me break <laughs> the ice. Do you get nervous when you go out? <laughs> sometimes, sometimes, sometimes. I mean, like, it's, I mean, and this, and when I say street evangelism, like we're holding mics and, right. and speakers and we're singing. <laughs> you don't know if the next guy is going to spit on you. Right. You don't know if they're going to be rude. Stuff like that is nerve wracking sometimes. Yep. But this past two times it's like i'm so sorry you're gonna get this gospel the boldness mm. and the spirit because i know that i know what i carry and i know that it's not of my own volition i didn't do anything differently mm. but there's just a boldness and i think again it's, it's it's it relates to the season that we're in that does not interrupt you so interesting because i also went out with her mm -hmm. um on one of the days that she was doing her um evangelism and on that day, I led 11 souls to Christ. Wow. In, and these, I only spoke to, so the first people we met, mm -hmm. there were five. Mm -hmm. Preached. All of them listened, led them all to Christ. Touch and follow. Then I went a few minutes later, I met a group of six. Mm -hmm. And I spoke to them, led all of them to Christ. So Touch to attest to what you're saying, yes. there's a different, yes. you know, grace. And, mm -hmm. you know, it just shows, it, it really attests to what you're saying. It's it's not the same. Praise yeah, it's God. not the same. There's a sale in the realm of spirit. There's a sale for souls. There's a sale for your prosperity. Why is your prosperity important? You cannot tell somebody that your god is good when you don't look like it like mm. what what are you talking about if you're a student and you're getting f's imagine going trying to go to a student maybe that's getting p's and it's like you need to believe in jesus christ they're probably going to look at you like up and down like what are you yeah. talking about a, the bible says a poor man's counsel is lightly esteemed mm. it doesn't matter how wise you are if you're poor you will not be regarded Right, so the Bible calls money and wisdom defenses. Hmm. Have money and be wise as well. Because, I mean, even think about it, this is something I think about often. Like, if Frank Ocean or Nicki Minaj or all these like stars in the world, if they said, I need 10,000 people to show up here right now, they would. Yep. That's that's power. Mm -hmm. That's it, they command power. So as Christians, we cannot have anything less. Mm. It's not, you have to be prosperous. Understand mm. that. And it goes back to the meditation. Right. Go back and read the scriptures. Go and find out what the Bible has to say about it. You know, actually, something that I've not even mentioned is the, the great emphasis mm. on the study of God's word in this year more than ever. Mm. Because you cannot cash out what you don't know you mm. have. You cannot insist on something you don't know that is yours. Mm. And the only place that you find where these coupons and vouchers are are in the word. In the word. But yeah, let me stop. So there. powerful. <laughs> it, it, and it I think that it also really pushes us to um no longer lightly esteem Bible study. Mm -hmm. Bible study. Because just like you said, these prophecies these things you're going to claim these vouchers are in the word mm -hmm. you're going to have to get in the word you can't be this is the year you can't afford to be lazy yeah, yeah. in that and and it's so interesting the way the word of god works these coupons they are not on the surface mm -hmm. so you're not gonna and oh, find it <laughs> you know what i'm saying <laughs> you're gonna have to sit yourself down one of the things i learned last year was things like the, the reading of the Bible, these are not things you do on the go. Mm. Oh, mm -hmm. I have five minutes, let me, no, 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 you sit down, mm. you sit down because there are verses you might even have read all your life, but the coupon is in yes, that verse. Yes, yes, and you will not, it's like Rema, mm -hmm. like you need to go through a process for mm -hmm. it to be revealed. Literally the same scripture, I remember one of my members, Bria had given a testimony and she had said, she had known that Jesus was God as mm -hmm. information, a head knowledge for a very long time. Um, but coming to a ministry like ours where we talk a lot about, you know, his divinity, talk a lot mm. about scripture, she's listening to messages. So now she's being bombarded with so much information, so much, we, we call that, um, what's the, what's the word for, for Rema that's not, 
Logos. Logos, thank you. So she's getting a lot of logos that is unrefined, right? So she's getting information. She's getting what information. Is, what, what is logos to someone? That logos is basically the word of God. So she's getting like, you know, revelation of God's mm -hmm. word, like information. We, we can call it information at this right. point, right? So she's getting a lot of information. And what's happening is there's an unconscious meditation in her spirit because she's pondering on these things. Mm -hmm. She's thinking about them. She's drawing lines. She's drawing lines. So even though she knew Jesus is God as mm -hmm. information at some point, now there's lines that she can draw mm. a is leading to b b mm. is leading to c so there's a meditation that's going on in her yeah. spirit and she, she she gave a testimony that she woke up this random morning at 3 a.m and she was screaming jesus is god oh, jesus is god that was rema god. that yes. was rema so that what you're saying about it being deep inside mm. is it's, you, it can't be surface level. you have to meditate on god's word yes there's so much that has been said concerning us in the scriptures and mm -hmm. you know there's something that the spirit of god had um, said to me in the word uh, 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 while we were preparing and fasting and everything like that. In fact, this was actually after the word of the, the year had been revealed to us. The Spirit of God said to me, many of the prophecies that had gone ahead, and this is really a test to what you were saying, many of the prophecies that had gone ahead of us, this is the time for their manifestation. Because mm. prophecies are in timeless and eternal echoes mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so they don't they don't they don't restrict it to time mm -hmm. just because a prophecy was said to you last year mm -hmm. does not mean it can't work this year mm -hmm. do you understand mm -hmm. so i'm so excited about that and then i think it would be nice to talk just a little bit about you know um the release of you know death and bondage of the nations because you know it, it's been something so heavy even on the man of Pastor Chris, because if you've yeah. noticed for the past three, no, four years four now, we've been praying non stop yeah, every 15 minutes. Somewhere around the world, someone somewhere around the world is praying for the nations. Yeah, yeah prayer thon, you know, with Pastor Chris mm -hmm. live. And I think to me, it's so important. And Pastor Chris has really helped me widen my scope mm. in, in, in seeing how the lord sees this world because yeah. one of the 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 words of, of of guidance as well and instruction that the spirit of god gave me this year is in my personal times of prayer i should pray for the nations mm -hmm. i should pray for salvation mm -hmm. and i should pray for the church mm -hmm. because if you notice these are prayer subjects we usually do as a church, as a church yeah. we do it as a congregation but most times when we come to our personal prayer times, we're mostly praying for maybe what we cover. Work, yeah, like yeah, yeah, and yeah, things of that beyond. nature. And it really helped me um, widen my scope because these are the things on the heart of God. He wants the whole world to be saved. Of yeah. course, while we're making impact where we are, right, we can also contribute to prayer and you know, prophecy even. And you know why it's relevant? Mm -hmm. Even more relevant. It's it means for for something like that to be made real mm. to your spirit it means that you're actually growing more into your hewlessness yes your sonship your airness mm. because if your father owns the whole world and you're going to be his heir and you're going to inherit his work or you're going to work alongside with him you have to have the capacity of his whole world mm. not just in little segments yes. they give little segments to people on internships people who are not yet mature right. people who are not grown like mm. okay yeah, you can focus on this but when you come up to start thinking like him and now your mind is on the world mm. your mind is on the, the people in Kazakhstan mm. that have not yet been saved, mm. that means your hewlessness is hewlessnessing. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's so powerful. <laughs> That's so powerful. It's And I think it's really high time that we all take a stand. Firstly, in that place of prayer, yeah. it's important that we pray for the nations because when we look at the things that have transpired in a couple you know years that have passed we can see that a lot of nations are in bondage mm -hmm. a lot of nations have been incapacitated mm -hmm. and the bible i was also i just want to say by the way just a plug please go and do the one year bible reading plan because yeah. it's almost as though i can't talk without making reference to it because of the things i'm learning you know um and some of these things are things you've seen all your life but just going over them again um the bible was talking about how we're the salt of the earth right mm -hmm. and he says that the salt's purpose is to keep flavor mm -hmm. do you understand and so the flavor translates to for example in the nations that righteousness of god the peace of god the things that that 
that keep the world the way that it's supposed to be. That's our role. We are the ones that, so we can't be the salt of the, it says the salt loses its flavor. Like what's, what's the purpose? What's the purpose? Like, yeah, so yeah. we have to take up the, like the, the nations have to be our concern because God has established us as the salt of the earth. And, but something even interesting though, that pastor also touched on, he said that, you know, Beyond prayer, there are also some actions we need to take. I found to that, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> he said that there, there are some there are illegal some people, things that nations yeah. are doing to other nations, especially African nations. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, I don't want to name drop anybody. That's mm-hmm. good. But like, I mean, I see it a lot in Africa. I can yes. speak to Africans. That, that one is, is plain as day. There's debts that don't even make sense that they right. don't need to be paying, that right. they're paying for. Pastor said, if you have the ability, take them to court. Yeah, sue the yes. government. And, sue everybody. and it's so powerful because <laughs> even though that's a physical action to take, it comes with favor. He's, we have favor if mm-hmm. if you're in a position where, but you know, something even more powerful to me was um, it showed me that there are things we can do as well as Christians beyond prayer. Yes, right? We can yes. take mm-hmm. ownership of our nations and especially even as young people. I, mm-hmm. I'm i not going to lie, like listening to that, I was really compelled to get more knowledge, to, um, you know, aspire for rightly positioned because not everybody is called to be on the pulpit, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. There's some people yes. in the church that need that, that, that are in that right, that need to be in that right positioning mm-hmm. to make executive decisions yes. in favor of, God's righteous cause in the nation, mm-hmm. right? There are people who need to be able to say, hey, this and this happens mm-hmm. in the nation, in the, the capacity of a nation. So honestly, for me, in, in, in that last point, I think I'm, I'm very compelled to, um, to be more learned, to increase in my, um, you know, knowledge so that I can, you know, get into position as well where we can effect changes. Even though we're praying, yeah. we are also, because... I mean, somebody's got to sue somebody. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Pastor said, we, being we in the sue. right rooms. Yeah. So you have to um, imagine that um, many people, I, well, I don't know the population of the U and I don't know what their beliefs are, but I can, from the decisions that they make, it's very clear that very few people are there on behalf of God and mm. his agenda and his kingdom. And these are people who are making decisions that affect the whole world. Yes. We need to be in those spaces. Yes. We Especially spaces. young people. Yeah. Young people. We are. Um, they say that, you know, the, the youth are the future, the leaders of tomorrow. <laughs> you see, but yeah, yeah. yeah the, the leaders of tomorrow. And it all starts, tomorrow starts now, yes. right? So we need to That's really... why they're coming after the kids. With indoctrination, the most effective way to, you know, produce a generation that has your beliefs mm-hmm. and your belief system is to start them out young. Young. Because, I mean, even the Bible says, you know, if you teach a child, you know, a young child the way that he should go Not when he grows parts. because it's easy to teach when you're young mm-hmm. and the things you learn as a kid you know you you grow up and stay with them and but um that last point even just to to wrap it up is that in this year the nations will be free Amen. one way or the other through our prayers through christians and children of god that are rightly positioned mm-hmm. we're going to and see being nation. loud and bold, bold and courageous yes, yes to speak we cannot be shut Be up. like Esther. Yes. Mm. For such a time yes. as this. Praise be to God. If we need to get into that. If I die, I die mm-hmm. kind of, you know, I would recommend reading the book of Esther. Very, very profound. Yeah. Yeah. Very profound. Because it combines what we're talking about. The place of the spirit. Because the physical realm is controlled by things mm-hmm. in the spirit realm. And so Esther knew that. I said, okay, everyone going to fast. Mm-hmm. But there was a resoluteness to her. She said, mm. I'm going in there. If I perish, I, I perish. perish. Yeah. You cannot make change until you come into this mindset. You mm. cannot affect change. You cannot do because this world is crazy. It you is. It's crazy it out there. <laughs> <laughs> it's, so, it's so powerful because it was a combination of what we just spoke about. Yeah. There was spirituality because they had to pray and fast, mm-hmm. but there was right positioning mm-hmm. because she was, you know, close to the king, Even but it Joseph. was also action. Yeah. Joseph yeah. as well. Like, so there's so you many. You can see in scripture, yeah. Yeah. So this year, I'm so excited because as, as we have rightly talked to the three points, this year we're going to see a lot of God's people that are out there lost in the world be, being coming back into because remember we're the fruit of of redemption so yeah. they're not going to be redeemed mm. but they're going to be born again and they will be born into redemption yes. praise god oh, so salvation yeah. like never before mm-hmm. then secondly in this year 
We're gonna be cashing in our vouchers, our coupons. We're gonna be enjoying, you know, um, and we're gonna do it. We're not gonna let them run out. You know, coupons can, yes, <laughs> can, they can expire. Yeah, so we're gonna make sure we use them timely. Mm. Such then, that the you know, and then there's something mm. about wealth and prosperity in this kind of sense that you can't ignore it. Mm. The moment somebody's a billionaire, he's on every news source and everything, mm. and then you put you in everything is connected. Mm. You put you in places where you have a say. You know, the, the 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 people of the world that are leaders and the ones that are in power are not the ones in power. Mm. There's a deep state. Yep. Who's running the deep state? People of influence mm. and money, like people who run for presidency. Mm. They are usually. Uh, what's the word when you they're usually sponsored mm -hmm. by people who have this wealth and who have this influence but they're mm -hmm. in the background yes we need to be in the background we so need to moving the influence the, the, the <laughs> right praise <now>. god <laughs> But this has been amazing yes. and this is really not even all of it we were just you know sharing Service. what we could and i hope that you have been blessed and i think that you know um it will only be right that we you know not close off this segment without doing now, number one which is yes. the prayer of salvation <laughs> yes. glory to god Hallelujah. so um i'll we're ask going to we're going to remove you from bondage now yes bring you into the state of redemption yes Praise God. So I'm going to um, kindly uh, invite Pastor Devi to, to lead. lead you. Into, you know, there's something else that we haven't even mentioned, which is literally in mm -hmm. the prayer of salvation. The fact that Christianity didn't start at the death. Mm, it started at, at the, the resurrection. resurrection. Yes. And if you believe in the resurrection, you automatically believe in, in the, the death. death. So you, even if you're a Christian, and this is something that... Um, you know, has become more apparent to me. Even if you're a Christian, you grew up in a church for a long time. If you've never publicly professed and proclaimed that Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior and you believe in the death, burial, and resurrection, you might not be living in the vital mm. life of your of your Christian your Christianity just yet. So this is a chance. If you've never said this prayer, just go ahead and close your eyes, bow your heads, and say this with your entire heart. And if you've never even if you don't even know what I'm talking about, this is even more so for you. Just go ahead and say, Dear Father, I thank you for your wonderful spirit i thank you for your wonderful son i thank you for making me so precious thank you for loving me so today i declare that i believe in jesus's death i believe that he was buried i believe that he rose again ah yes i believe that he rose again therefore i am justified oh thank you father and i believe that now i am seated in heavenly places with christ jesus Yes, I thank you for making me your child because today, now, I am entering into sonship with you, into oneness with you. Thank you, dear Father. And I would also like to let you to also lead you to just also receive the Holy Spirit. Just go ahead and say, dear Holy Spirit, I love you so much. Thank you for all that you do in our world. Today, I invite you to live inside of me. In Jesus' name, amen. The simplicity of the gospel is the profoundness of it. Yes. Congratulations. You're now a child of God. Now you're justified. Now you are part of us who are redeeming the world. So go Hallelujah. go binge our, the, the other services that we have. I, I think we're going to also pray on the offerings as well, right? Before we go. Go binge the other services that we have. We have so many beautiful messages. Now that you've received the Holy Spirit, you can speak in tongues. Yes, it's for everybody. We have, actually, I think he was the one who led that, um, that message. So go Holy scroll Spirit. up. Binge everything. Like. Share subscribe and then copy the link and then go and send it to every single person that you know let them absolutely. also get the revelations let them be transformed by these words absolutely praise god. do not gatekeep <laughs> praise god um would like to also spend a few minutes to pray for the offerings um and sanctify them so let's go ahead and pray for them at this time Gracious Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, thank you for the opportunity, the privilege to give our offerings unto you. We pray that by your spirit they're sanctified and made acceptable unto you. We declare that they are multiplied unto the purpose for, what, for which they were given. We declare that a multiplied harvest measures, pressed down, shaken together, running over, is given into our accounts in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you, we're grateful for in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Amen.
Amen. Well, um, this has been real. This has been amazing. I know where to go. <laughs> I miss you already. Thank you all for having us. Thank you for staying till the end. God bless you. See you next time. Welcome to today's segment of What's Going On, obviously with your favorite host, Pastor Danny, and I'm here to keep you up to date with all the exciting things we have happening in the Oasis family. Praise God. The first major program that we are having in the month of January is the Level Up Conference happening from the 19th to the 22nd. You do not want to miss it because it's going to be a time to inspire you, train you, and build you up for the next level of your life. In this year of redemption, you have to be equipped spiritually, so make sure you are there. All the details are gonna be listed on the screen. The second major announcement is that we're gonna be having a 21 day, yes, 21 days of prayer and fasting, starting from January 8th. Oh my goodness, I am so excited about it because it's time to get your spiritual antennas tuned in. Fasting is a way to block out everything and give all your attention to the Lord so that you can clearly hear all that he has in store for you. So you wanna make sure you are participating wholeheartedly in this prayer and fasting, you do not want to miss out on the blessings that you're going to receive after the fasting. Coming to the city near you, we are having a major crusade happening January 28th. You do not want to miss it. Make sure you invite your friends, your family, every single person that you know needs to be in attendance of this major program. So you're going to receive some more information throughout the week, throughout the month of what's going to be expected in this amazing program. I'm telling you, it's going to be life changing. Now, if you're new here and you're wondering what in the world is happening, how do I get more involved? What are the foundations of what we're talking about? You want to make sure that you register for Rock Solid Academy. This is a seven to eight class course that is very informational, giving you the foundations of your life in Christ and what it means to be a Christian, how to live this Christian life. Trust me, we're going to take your hand, walk you step by step and make sure that you are set for your Christian journey. Well, make sure to follow us on all our social media platforms listed below. Leave your comments, and if you have any prayer requests, anything that you'd like to ask us, put it in the description box below. Praise God. Well, this has been an amazing time of what's going on with your favorite host, Pastor Danny, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Wow, what a message that was. Thank you so much, Pastor, for blessing us with those words, those powerful words from the Spirit. Thank you for tuning in to another Power Back Sunday service with Oasis Online. And once again, I am Oma. And I am Emma. And we'll we will see you next week. Bye. Bye.